Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing my empties video with you guys. I know I haven't been posting that much recently. There's been so much going on in my life and yeah, I'm just trying to catch up, trying to keep up. And so I normally do an empties video at the end of the month. So I wanted to try really, really hard to get this video filmed and up for you guys so that I can still show you this. I didn't want to wait until next month to share my empties and just do an accumulative <laughs> empties because I actually have so, so much to share with you. I couldn't even fit it all into my bag that I normally use for my empties. Like, so I can't even show that to you because it didn't fit. It was just overflowing. And I'm just really surprised at how many empties I have. Without dragging this intro on too much longer, I just want to say don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I appreciate you guys watching my videos, subscribing and all of that, leaving comments. I love to read them. So let's start with our skincare. Let's start with toner because I fly through toner and this is the Thayer's toner and this is their unscented version. And this is a very basic toner but I actually enjoyed it and I jo enjoyed using it. So I really liked this. I would definitely consider purchasing this again. I also really liked the cap, how it has like the really small opening and um, it was just easy to squeeze out onto a cotton pad. I'm gonna try and speed through this a little bit just because I have so much to go through. So I apologize if my reviews are a little bit shorter than normal. My next empty here is makeup remover from Lancome and this is their By Facil double action eye makeup remover. I've purchased this multiple times. I really like this product and it is one of my favorite eye makeup removers. I only purchase it though when it is on sale. Next is moving into my like deluxe sample kind of category. And this one is from Juice Beauty and I actually have it too. So I have a little bit of a larger size and a, a smaller size. So this one comes with the pump, which I appreciated. I kind of like this packaging obviously better than this. This is another one that I did create a full face video of and I am working on actually editing it. So stay tuned, it is coming soon, hopefully soon because it is almost ready. I just have to do like the last little bit to get it up for you guys. I'm trying, I'm really trying. Um, but this is the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum from Juice Beauty. And I actually really liked it. Don't know if I noticed enough of a difference to purchase the full size, but if I did receive more of these, I would 100% use them. I did enjoy using it, but I just don't know if I would pay the price tag for this. I don't know. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on them. I'd love to hear from you. I have two cleansers here, two different brands. So I have CeraVe and I have Clinique. So for the CeraVe one, it's the Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. And I did like this. It was nice. It didn't dry out my skin. I feel like this is a pretty good drugstore brand. And so I would be interested in picking it up if I needed a cleanser. But right now, I know I don't. I've got plenty to go through. But I did like this. And for a drugstore cleanser, I do recommend testing it out and trying it for yourself. Next is from Clinique and this is their All About Clean Liquid Facial Soap Mild. And this one's a very basic, again, mild cleanser. Um, I don't think I would actually purchase this one just because it is so basic. I feel like something less expensive just does just as well. If you have sensitive skin, maybe something like this is necessary and you would really enjoy this. This is a little mini from Juice Beauty. I also talked about this in that video that will be coming eventually. Um, and this is the Juice Beauty Prebiotics Tardic and Iris Instant Flash Facial. And this was nice. I don't know if this is something I would go out and purchase again, but it was good. I did like it. Um, I think this one actually was kind of a physical and chemical exfoliant I feel like because you did have to leave it on for a couple of minutes. I've got tons of foil packety things here. Um, I've got a couple of sheet masks so let me go through those first. The Ulta Revitalizing Oxygen Energizing Oxygen Bubbles with Brightening Papaya Extract, Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid, yada yada yada. But pretty much it was a sheet mask and when you put it on it kind of just foams up and, and just kind of 
expands and bubbles and stuff and it was just kind of fun I don't know if it really did a whole lot but uh, it was fun to use and yeah I liked it I actually think this was part of one of my project pants so this might be a spoiler I actually just recently used this up because I was in the sun for a very long time and when I got back home my face was very very red so um, I really like using this particular sheet mask after I've been in the sun for a long time and this one is um, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce the name here but I will I'll list the name of it right here just so I don't say it wrong because I just I don't want to do that. Um, I love this mask though. This is their Aloe Soothing Facial Mask and I just feel like this just, like I said, it soothes my skin after being in the sun. I feel like it helps keep my skin from getting really bad like sunburn and like, I don't know. I just feel like it kind of brings it back to being healthy afterwards in a way. I don't know how to explain it, but that's how I feel after using this. Highly recommend it. If you can find this, purchase it. And if I can find it, I will definitely repurchase it. I have another sheet mask that I kind of tore apart. It was like a three-step system thing. And this is like, I feel like this is uh, Shajun, I think. I don't know. I might be saying that a little bit wrong. Um, but anyway, I had three steps to it. So a cleanse, a serum, and then the sheet mask itself, which also had serum in here. This was really nice. I did really enjoy it. Um, I do have another one of these, thankfully, so I don't need to go out and purchase it. Um, I did purchase this while I was overseas, so I'm not sure exactly where you can purchase this from. But if you know, you can let everybody know down below. Let me know, and maybe I can purchase some more. I love the whole three-step process of that. I thought that was really cool and interesting. It's not an easy just sheet mask type of a thing that way, but I did really appreciate the experience. I definitely have some Project Pan things in here. I don't know if they're spoilers or if I've already talked about them last month, but I'm going to run through them. So I have this Exuviance Super Retinol Concentrate. I have two of these. I used them both up. It was nice, but I don't know if I noticed a whole lot. There's not a lot in these, so it's hard to really tell. So just based on these, I wouldn't purchase it again, but it was nice to be able to use. I have this product from Beekman 1820? 1802. I knew there was a zero and a two. I just got mixed up. Um, so this is their Milk Wash Exfoliating Jelly Cleanser. And I actually, oddly enough, liked this. It's a very odd thing because I feel like it does a lot of different things. The texture of it's a little bit different. It is slightly jelly-like. It is um, a cleanser, but it's also an exfoliant. And yeah, it's just very interesting. You put it on to dry skin. It says it's supposed to help dissolve your makeup and it did a little bit, it actually did. I don't think it got everything off. It's not something I would actually purchase again, but it was really interesting to try out. Then I have the Paracomb MD. This is their brightening serum, vitamin C ester. And it was nice, but again, didn't really get to try it a whole lot. So didn't get to form much an opinion on it. Based on this, I wouldn't purchase the full size. It is pretty pricey, but I would love to try it again. The air just kicked on, so I will be right back. Sorry, I just don't want you guys to hear this in the background. See you in a minute. I am back. I have eaten dinner, and the air conditioning has turned off, so we can continue. The last skincare product that I wanted to talk about is this La Roche-Posay Anthelios. HA Mineral Daily Moisturizing Cream, Mineral Sunscreen plus Hyaluronic Acid. I didn't love it. It was kind of hard to spread a little bit. It was a very white casty and yeah, not my favorite. Honestly, it, it worked great as a sunscreen. I did not get summer. It protected my skin very well. So I will say it does the job there, but it just wasn't the best to apply. I cannot see wearing this under makeup. I feel like that would not go well at all. So not something I will purchase or really recommend, um, but it was nice to be able to try it out. Now I'm going to move into my makeup products. I've got one full size, oh no, two full size, and some deluxe size and a foil packety thing and a random item. So Let's start with the two full size. I finally finished my setting spray from It Cosmetics. This was in one of my project pans. This is the Your Skin But Better Setting Spray Plus. And it was nice. 
Would I purchase it again? Probably not. I think I like other setting sprays a little bit better than this one. The next one is an eyeliner pencil. And this is from Revlon. This is from their Color Stay collection. And it is in the shade black. I guess I'm decluttering this. This is not an empty. There's still like, I mean, I'm, I'm rolling this. Like there's product in here. I must not have liked this. Okay, I remember now. It flaked, it smudged, it just got everywhere. And every time I wore it, my makeup just looked terrible. So I do not like this and I will not purchase it again. Although, I will say that it came, I took it out because <laughs> I'm saving it. Um, but at the bottom piece, there was actually like a part that you could take out and it was a sharpener. And that I love because that I can use with um, the retractable eyeliners, which I do like the formula most of the time of the retractable eyeliners better. But you can't really sharpen them and they don't really have keep a point, which I don't like. So the fact that it came with like a sharpener that can work with retractable eye pencils, I love that. So I've kept the sharpener piece and I am going to declutter the rest of this. We have two deluxe size products here. One is an eyeshadow primer base and this is empty. I've been scraping this and it's just dry. It's not coming out. I can't put any on my eyes. This is from Catrice Cosmetics and it's their Prime and Fine Brightening Eyeshadow Base. It does go on a little bit of like a sheer white and I guess that's nice to kind of intensify the color of your eyeshadow. Personally, I didn't love that about it. I would rather have it um, be more of a neutral tone that has a little bit of pigment to cover any unevenness on my eyes. Wouldn't purchase this again, but I did work through it and use it up completely. The next one is from Morphe, and this is a mascara from them, and this is their Make It Big Mascara. I did not like this. I did use it um, for a month. It's still got product in here. It's not dried out, but I did not like this. It was messy, very similar to the, actually the eyeliner that I am decluttering. It kind of got everywhere. It was hard for me to apply. I feel like it looked great on my eyes, but after applying it, it just ruined my makeup. So do not like this would not purchase, don't recommend it. Let me know, like if you guys feel differently about these products, let me know down below what was your experience with them because just because I didn't like it doesn't mean that um, everybody feels that way. The random product is actually an eyelash curler and this is, I believe, an e.l.f. eyelash curler and the reason it is in here is because um, I feel like I haven't had this that long. The way that the top part crimps down onto the like cushion here, it's almost like it doesn't like go down into the middle of it. Instead, it like almost goes all the way to the edge and it literally like just cut it. And I feel like I could feel it on my eyelashes, but I just feel like maybe I got a faulty one. Last makeup product is like a foil packet sample and this is from a project pan and this one um is from rare beauty and this is their optimus primer collection it had an illuminating primer in here a pore diffusing primer and a weightless eye primer the weightless eye primer at first i loved it but i think maybe because i kept it in this thing and maybe it didn't seal all the way back up it kind of dried out and got really gross and um was terrible on the eyes after that so it like worked amazing the first couple of times i used it and then i hated it after that i think the actual product would be a lot better and i would definitely be interested in trying the actual product of that to test that theory and to see because the first couple of times it was amazing i loved it it was like my favorite eye primer i've ever used i think i liked the pore diffusing one the best out of the two which is kind of interesting because normally i like the illuminating one better but that one i didn't really care for i have quite a bit of hair care to share with you as well again i'm just trying to fly through this so that i can show you everything and just give you really short quick reviews on them there are some declutters and some empties here so i have three full-size products I have two that are empties and both are shampoos. 
This one is from my Project Pan, and this is the Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment Purple Treatment Shampoo. I actually really like this. I think it's probably a really nice, inexpensive purple shampoo. Um, I haven't tried a whole lot of them, though, so I don't really know a whole lot of what to compare it to. I would maybe consider purchasing again, but I want to try other ones as well. The next is this big, big one. I mean, like, it's bigger than my head. <laughs> And this is from Tresme, and this is their Moisture Rich Shampoo. It was really nice. Sometimes it was a little too moisturizing, though. It kind of just depends. Um, but I still really liked it, and I'm glad I got to go through it. And now I would like to try out some other ones, just because I feel like I've been using this for so long that I'm a little bit bored of it. Now, the last full-size hair care product I have here, I feel like I have talked about before, and I am going to declutter this. This is going, this is out of my collection. I have him and hawed over this product so many times. I'm finally getting rid of it. Um, I just don't use it. And it's taking up space, and it doesn't need to, so. This one is going, this is the Got To Be Oil-licious Triple Oil Dry Oil Hair Taming Mist. I have a loofah. Wait, this, this should have went with body. Anyway, I'm showing it to you. I used up a loofah. You use up a loofah? It was time to replace the loofah. <laughs> okay, let's continue with hair care. I used up this quage, I think you say, um, silkening oil foam. And I actually used this as a foam to use to scrunch and curl my hair and keep the curls. And it also worked really nice um, because it is like an oil foam to help my hair not be super frizzy. It helped it look really soft. I feel like my other curl products do a better job at holding my curl. But this was really nice and I'm glad I ended up finding a good use for it. So yeah, I really liked this. And if I got another one, I would definitely use it again, but I just probably won't purchase it. This is the Mix Chicks Curl Sculptor Fast Drying Weightless Curl Creator. It elongates, curls, softens, and moisturizes. Does a lot of things and it actually works very well and I did enjoy this one. Um, again, I think I like the consistency of other ones that I tried. This one was pretty messy when I tried to apply it, but it did a really good job and I did appreciate how the product worked. I have these two Aveda products here. They're both the same thing. It's the Dry Remedy Moisturizing Treatment Mask. I've had these for a while and I finally used them up. Another Project Pan spoiler. Um, they are great. I really liked these. These are awesome. Um, if I received these again, I would definitely use them, but I don't think it's something I need to go out and purchase. Additional declutters for my hair um, is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. It's their styler. And I think I tried this once because I was comparing like all of my um, hair products. I actually went through them. I tested them again and kind of just determined what was worth keeping and what wasn't. And I just liked my other products better than this. So it wasn't worth keeping for me. So I am just going to be passing it along. It's not a terrible product. I just don't need tons of hair product. I, I'm not fussy with my hair. I'm having a bad hair day today. But... <laughs> Normally it looks fine on its own. I also am going to be decluttering this one. This is their Sexy Hair, Big Sexy Hair, Full Bloom, Long Lasting Thickening and Refreshing Spray. I've kept this in through previous declutters as like my one product like this to keep, but I just don't think I need it. I'm finally going to get rid of it. There's really no purpose for this one in my hair care routine, so that's that's why I'm getting rid of it. I'm just gonna pass it on to somebody else. Okay, so we're getting to the end here. Hang in there with me. I'm gonna go through my body care products real quick. I have two full size. I have my body wash that I feel like I'm always showing you guys. It's from Dove, it's the deep moisture version of it. And I really, really like this one. I'm actually out. I'm trying other things. We'll see how it goes, but this is definitely, I feel like, kind of my go-to. The next is from EOS. This is a shave cream, and I don't, it's okay. I like the product itself, but I just don't really care for the packaging on this. The pump doesn't dispense much, and I kind of, I guess I like more. Um, and then it's very, very hard to get the remaining amount left in here, like very hard. So. And I'm one of those people where I just want to get every last drop and I don't want to waste it. So this took some work to get the rest of it out and used up. This is in the lavender. Yeah, the lavender version of this. 
I have this little thing here to share with you and this is from Body Restore and this is the citrus scent and this is basically like a shower tablet thing where you put it into your shower and it just kind of makes it smell really really good and very fragrant and kind of just gives it a really relaxing feel to your shower. So I, I did like it. The citrus was pretty strong <laughs> so I feel like I would probably choose a different scent. But yeah, it was kind of cool. It was the first time I've ever tried a product like that before. So if you have tried a product like that before, let me know. Do you like it? Um, have you tried other brands that work really well for you? Do you have a scent that you really like? Let me know. This is by Daisy. They're Marc Jacobs perfume. It's good. It's not my absolute favorite, but it's good. So that's all I'm gonna say about that one. We've got the random. So I'm gonna go through this super, super quickly. We actually don't have any hand soap in this video because I still have a smidgen left and I didn't wanna throw it out and be wasteful. My neighbor is walking their dog right in front of the window and I've got the ring light on and it's like super obvious. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, okay. I can they walk by. All right, we can continue. I have my live gummies. Love these. I've talked about these multiple times. Definitely repurchase for me. And then I have some very simple Purell little hand sanitizer I got from the Dollar Tree. It's not the Dollar Tree anymore, but that's where I got that from. That is gone. I also have this little chapstick. It's Chap Ice Lip Balm SPF 15. It worked fine. Not much to say about that one. And then I have a Neutrogena Clear Zinc Face Dry Touch Sunscreen SPF 50. This has expired, which is one of the reasons why I'm getting rid of it. And also, I probably wouldn't purchase this again because it's very thick and it doesn't spread the greatest on your face and it leaves a very obvious white cast. 100% cannot wear makeup over this. Yes, it keeps you from getting sunburnt, but you look, I look, more ghostly than I normally do. <laughs> so... No, no for me, um, but it needs to be tossed. Right, that is everything. We have made it to the end of this video. If you have made it to the end of the video with me, thank you so much. Uh, again, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy Empty's videos. I love filming them. They're actually really fun and I enjoy watching other people's. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all of my future uploads. I'm trying, I'm trying to be more consistent. Hopefully I can be do better. We'll see. Uh, thank you guys. I appreciate everyone who comes to my channel, watches my videos and subscribes and helps me out. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful and beautiful day. Take care everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.